What up, world? Peace, kings and queens. I'm sitting here till now. We're having deep dialogue and discussion as we always do. And I'm sharing with her, you know, the revelation of 2020 and what that means, you know, and the wisdom that comes along with that. It's kind of like 2020 vision, so to say, right? Even the sacred knowledge of the owl and what that represents. You know, the owl, uh, our ancient ancestors, they use it as all symbols and animals. It, it, it's so much deeper than the symbol. You see what I'm saying? But if you look at an owl, which is a symbol for wisdom and knowledge and enlightenment, you see what I'm saying? It's a 2020 vision, so to say. And that's the time that we're in right now. So even the owl, the ancient ancestors use it because if you see the shape of the owl and the two deep, dark eyes, that represents two black holes that our ancient ancestors knew that will be a certain time in the cosmos or in, you see what I'm saying, existence. And then this time is kind of like what will, there will be a great shift. And that's the time that we're in right now, 2020. Two zero two zero, and it the owl's face represented that. You see what I'm saying? So it's kind of like um, the esoteric knowledge. That's what that's what these things represent. Uh, the occult, so to say, that knowledge that most people are unaware of, of those symbolisms and what it truly mean, and the certain um, codings that it's it's deeper than the surface. But those people that know about symbolisms or um, certain knowledge, it will be eye-opening. Yet again, eye-opening. To you, it will awaken you. You see what I'm saying? And this is the forbidden knowledge, so to say, or the esoteric knowledge, or what they call the occult. And they put these negative connotations around it to keep you from entering, from setting yourself free from getting the knowledge. So we were just having a conversation and um, Seal just said that you should definitely do a quick video explaining that. So I just wanted to do a quick video to just detail that to give you something to think about and to give you something to do further research mm -hmm. on. The symbolisms of an owl and even what that really means. Because a lot of our the ancestors use uh, animals as symbols because they all had a nature or energy that came with them. They all had attributes. So even a snake is not evil. It just shows uh, the energy that came along with that. The eye the of Horus or you see what I'm saying? The all-seeing eye on the capstone of the pyramid that is even on the back of your money. Mm -hmm. So it's taken these ancient comedic principles and they're all over the world. They're imitating that. Even America, it's a replica of Kemet and just the art architecture and the structure and how it was done. Like we created everything. Language, knowledge, science, you know, everything. So it's kind of like they're taking what was left for us to awaken us and they take it and they hide that knowledge. They put a negative connotation around it. They, they hide it. They forbid you from accessing it. And when you do, you are now a devil worshiper or you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. A conspiracy theorist or whatever negative connotation they put around it. So... Yo, stay woke. Awaken ones unite. The time is now. It's the age of Aquarius. And even that, we're in a different age. The age of Aquarius is the water bearer pouring the water onto the planet. Like, look at these things. Even in the Zodiac and astrology, which they try to make it seem like it is so evil. But if God put the heavens in place, how can that be evil? Don't you have a zodiac sign? Especially you religious people. I don't care if you believe in it, you think it's evil, you have a birth date. 
And that falls under a certain gate or a certain time. You see what I'm saying? Under the stars that God put in place. That again, back to the heavens that I just did a video on telling you to pay attention. Another reason for this whole quarantine thing is to keep you inside so you're not looking outside. But it's also beneficial because it's making people go inside to go within. Correct. Inside. You see what I'm saying? Because outside is a distraction. Mm -hmm. So everything, even what the devil meant for bad, God will mean, mean it for good and turn it around. And that's what's happening. The planet is being healed. You know what I mean? The ozone layer is filling up. Plants and you know what I mean? The air is clearer. So I'm just saying this to say, yo, do your research. Study to show yourself approved. The time is now. It's the age of Aquarius. Everything that is hidden is being revealed. And you'll see for yourself in due time. Time reveal all truths. I really hope you guys got the message, the nugget that he dropped. He said, stay inside because outside is a distraction. Go inside because outside is a distraction. You need yeah. to hear that in spirit. Word. Because everything happens in the spirit realm before it happens in the physical realm. And we were diseased in spirit way before a virus hit in the physical. So this is more spiritual warfare than anything else. And everybody's trying to treat this from a vaccinated perspective, which is still from an outside perspective when it's all about going within and tapping within and finding the God within and finding yourself within so that you're not led by the distractions on the outside. So I really, really hope you heard that, that you heard that you understand the nugget that he really dropped right there to overstand yes, and not just continue to rely on understanding. Yeah. So we talk like this all the time. So when we say awaken ones unite, we want to have more dialogue like this with other people. We talk like this all the time and amongst our soul family. But if you thirst for deep, conversation like this as well reach out to us yeah. we would love to to dive into the abyss as chris always says <laughs> or, <laughs> with others that's what's up so yeah i mean the time is now it's just i really hope y'all can get that and even with staying inside because outside is, is a distraction <clears throat> still go outside to get the vital energies that you need, the sun, the vitamin D. Because again, those cosmic rays, that's how they're coming. It is the age of Aquarius. So that's how we're getting this uh, knowledge and information and uh, codings to awaken us and to enlighten us. And that's a lot of reason why the quarantine is happening. They're using harp to modify the weather. To It's just to keep those things that are just in the course of nature from happening. Nature always returns back to its original state. And that is that is black. That is, you know what I mean? Um, dark matter, so to say. So it is what it is. Much love, light, and positive energy to all. Peace. Peace.